Hello guys, welcome to BL videos. Today, I am gonna show you how to find, the day of any given date of the calendar. By applying various fast mental techniques, and, after good practice, you will be able to find the day within few seconds. Let's begin with the basic ideas you need to know, before proceeding. First, let's designate each of the day, with the values from 1 to 7, starting from Monday. For Sunday, we gave it a value 0 instead of 7, for our convenience. To remember these values, we prefer mnemonic code, that is, a word or phrase, to help in memorization, it should not be confused with the word mnemonic which relates with lungs. So, Monday is one day, Tuesday is Tuesday and so on. Since, we are talking about fast calculation, you also need to remember these codes for each month. You can make your own mnemonic code for memorization. Now, let's begin with an example, say, 23rd of March. 1995 AD. For our simplicity and easier calculation, we break this date, as, date, month, century, and year. From now onwards, when I say year, it will be representing the last two digits of the actual year only and the first two digits will be century. Since the calculation for date and the century are independent and easy, while the calculation of month and year are somewhat dependent. So, we keep them in order as shown. The formula for finding day is then given by, code for date minus, code for century, plus code for month minus, code for year minus JFL code, which I will discuss later. Now, we have got, what we are given, and what we are going to find. Let's start, by finding the code for date. Given date is 23. So divide 23 by 7 as you did in school days. You will get the remainder as 2. This remainder will be the code for the date, and we keep it at the top as shown. Let's calculate the code for the century. The given century is 19. By same process that we just did for the date code, divide 19 by 7, and it will give the remainder 5. So, this remainder will be the code for the century and we keep it at the top as shown. Let's find the code for the month. The given month is March and from the box at the right, we get the code for March is 1, and we keep it at the top as shown. Now, to find the code for the year is a bit lengthy, here I have two methods of finding the code for it. The first one, I say it, an old method because it is comparatively time consuming but for beginners, it is good to learn. In this method, first, we divide the year, that is, 95 by 7 and find the remainder, which will be 4. Then, we again divide the year, that is, 95 by 4 and find the quotient, and remember this time it is not the remainder. The quotient gives number of leap years in those 95 years. Then, add the remainder from the first, and, the quotient from the second, and get the result, that is, 27 in this case. Again, divide the result, that is, 27, by 7 and find the remainder, we get 6. But, here, remember, the year code is not the remainder 6 but also including minus sign with it, that is minus 6, you will find reason behind it later. Let's go for the next method, which is recently developed by the mathematicians, especially for the fast calculation. It is called the odd plus 11 rule. First step, it says, if the year is even, make it half, else, add 11 and then only make it half, saying even, I mean to say the last digits of the year is either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, or meaning that it is divisible by 2. In our case, the year, that is, 95 is odd, hence we add 11 and then only make it half, and get 53. In second step, it says, 
if the result, that we get after the first step, say A, is even, do nothing, that means keep it same. Else add 11 to it. In our case, the result that we get after the first step, that is, 53, is odd, hence, we add 11 and get 64. Then, divide that result by 7, and we get the remainder as 1, which will be the year code. As you see, you can easily get year code by simple iteration, and it is obviously faster than previous method. But, from previous method, you got minus 6 as the year code, and by second method, you got 1, the question is how can they be different? Remember that, you can simply add 7 to minus 6 to get 1. The reason is that, the days of the week repeat in 7 days. Hence, adding 7 as many times as you desire, you will get to the same day. Hence the year code from both the methods are same, that is 1. The last code, you need to find is, the JFL code. I call it January February leap year code. Most of the people miss this calculation so I have presented this as a separate code. It says, if the month is January or February, and the year is leap year then JFL code equals 1, else it is 0. In our case, the month is March, hence the JFL code is 0. But, if the month was January or February, we also need to check either the year is a leap year or not. Because in case, the year is leap year then JFL code will be 1. To know whether a year is a leap year or not, the fastest strategy would be making the year half. If the year divided by 2 is even, then it is a leap year. For example, 95 divided by 2 doesn't give countable number, so, it is not leap year. 96 divided by 2, gives 48, which is even, hence, it is a leap year. 97 divided by 2, doesn't give countable number. So, it is not leap year. 98 divided by 2, gives 49, which is odd, hence it is not a leap year and so on. But, I tell you that, you need not do that much. Let's look back the odd plus 11 rule again. While, we are calculating the code for year by this method, we are also calculating whether the year is leap year or not. In this sense also, this method is faster. For instance, if you are applying the steps shown above the arrow in the shaded region only, then the year is certainly a leap year. Or, if you didn't came through the steps involving 11 anywhere, then the year must be a leap year. In other words, while calculating the code for the year by this method, if you came through the steps of 11 somewhere, then the year is certainly not a leap year. So, there we have it, all the codes are collected at the top, simplifying it, we get, 2, minus 5, plus 1, minus 1, minus 0 equals minus 3, we can add 7 to make it positive and get 4, looking at the table at the top right corner, the code for 4 is thrust day, which is the required day of the given date. Thanks for watching, be imaginative and be logical.